Hi guys, welcome back to Beauty for Ashes. Welcome back to this wonderful, faithful community. Because as you know, my goal in this platform is that through my stories, through my testimonies, you, my dear friends, are able to ignite your faith and just believe the Lord to do exceedingly abundantly all that you can ask for, think, or imagine. So thank you for liking the videos. Thank you for sharing the videos. And please do not forget to subscribe to the channel. So as you can see by the title of this video, we're talking about arranged marriages in modern day. So when I'm referring to an arranged marriage, I'm talking about God is the one who is doing the arranging. This is without human intervention. This is without human planning. So it's not coming through your parents, your grandparents, or your pastors. Again, God is the one that is doing everything. But first and foremost, let me say this, not everyone will have the same testimony. Not everyone has the type of faith to be okay with walking in an arranged marriage. And to be honest, God may just have other plans for you. He may allow you to get to know your partner and you guys you know, know each other for a period of time before getting married. But I know for some of you, I know that you know deep down in your heart that the long dating and engagement process will not be your story. It's so crazy when I think about my story, I never had an engagement. And I remember telling my husband two days before we got married that, wait, babe, you didn't, you didn't propose to me. But seriously, there was just no time for an engagement. God had us skip that part. So now when I'm reflecting back on that process, nothing that we did was traditional, even though arranged marriages have been around for centuries. So whatever that we did, whatever God had us do was not tradition in this era. So it was really not the regular way of doing things, but there is a God we know who sits high and he does whatever he wants with whomever he wants. So how do you know, my friends, that God is calling you to an arranged or a super accelerated marriage? So I strongly believe that you will be gravitated to that. Um, you will know in your heart if God should ask you to do that, that it will be easy for you. So it is a grace that you will carry for that assignment. So you will not struggle or fall into depression just over the thought of having God arrange your marriage. Again, you will have the faith for whatever God is asking you to do. So I can recall when God began dropping nuggets in my spirit about arranging my marriage. And he began speaking to me about this four years before I got married. It was days into my single season. When I say days, days, it was days into my single season. And God began to drop hints and nuggets about arranging my marriage. So when the Lord gave me the initial word, I was excited in my spirit. Why? I knew I carried the grace for that. And if you're called to an arranged marriage as well, you will also carry the grace. And another thing is that you will know or you will gravitate to similar testimonies. I remember finding YouTube videos and testimonies where people were getting married in less than three months. And even though I did not find a testimony like mine, it surely ignited my faith to know that in fact people could you know, meet somebody and within three months they're already married. And if you're familiar with my testimony, you know that I got married within six weeks of meeting my husband. Um, after we understood that we were each other's spouses, the next time that I saw him, we were getting married. And that was just the timeline that God gave us. We tried to delay ourselves. Um, people tried to delay us. Pastors thought it was too soon. So trust me, it could get crazy. I remember when we wanted to do premarital counseling and this pastor said, um, actually we reached out to a pastor in Jamaica because that was where we were getting married. And he said, listen, it is a mandatory three month for marital counseling before I can give you my blessing to get married. And we were like, three months? Um, how about three days, okay? But again, when we're on God's, or when you're on God's accelerated time um, and being in a supernatural time of acceleration, it will attract its own type of warfare. So that was, you know, definitely warfare that we went through where everyone was telling us to just wait, to delay, you know, what is the rush? 
And again, when God is saying it's time to move it, it's time to speed up and get things going, you have to deal with other voices as well. But how about you? Do you feel that God has been telling you or you feel that God has been dropping hints that he will accelerate you in this area? God has a funny way of cutting down and restoring times. Um, yes, I waited for years, but all of that was like nothing because my husband and my son came at the same time. So my family doubled in the blink of an eye. So it's like, ah, even though I waited for four years, God surely made up for that time in the most miraculous way. So let me know in the comment section, like how do you feel about an arranged marriage? Tell me, let me know in the comment section. Are you afraid? Are you excited? Are you ready to go? Let me know. I would also like to, you know, do more videos on this topic to help women who walk in similar testimony or is getting ready to walk in a, in, in a similar testimony. Um, I know that because such marriage and arranged marriage by God is not so popular, you probably won't find many people that will speak on it, right? But again, we can talk about the warfare that goes into it. We can talk about the warfare that we even see in the Bible when it's time for an acceleration of any kind. We can also talk about, you know, getting your heart in the right posture and position to walk into an arranged marriage. And again, it's not for the faint of heart. Um, we can even discuss how to develop the, the faith and the confidence to allow God to arrange your marriage and the faith and the confidence that you should have to know that you're going to choose the right person. So again, it will take a tremendous amount of trust and faith in God. And that is why I'm always going back to discernment because if God is arranging your marriage, you will not have the time to get to know the person or do things that you may be accustomed to doing. So that is why discernment is necessary. And if God is arranging your marriage or he's getting ready to have you walk in a prophetic marriage, discernment is all you have. It's all you have. That is it. That is it. Think about when God was arranging the marriage between Isaac and Rebecca. Rebecca did not meet Isaac. She had no clue who she was marrying. Because again, you get married solely on discerning God's voice. And it's not easy. Trust me, I get it. It's not. But again, if you were made for this, you will have the grace for this. Amen? Um, guys, let me tell you. I got married so quick. Um, I tried not to speak to my husband for five days, hoping that I can fast and pray for clarity. And God was like, listen, no, 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 no. You don't have time for that. Cause I'm going to tell you before you even initiate this fast, I am going to tell you like now, now, now that this is your husband and you guys need to get married and you guys need to get the ball rolling. So guys, you know, you're on an accelerated time when you don't even have the time to fast, you don't have the time to fast. You don't have the time to pray. Cause God is like, listen, we need, we need to get this going. And that is why preparation and the right posture, having your heart in the right posture is crucial. If you're looking for God to release you within a prophetic or an arranged marriage. Again, my ladies, we just cannot afford to miss it. We cannot afford to miss it because that point in your life, it's so crucial. We have to make sure that we're not yielding to any other voice than God's voice. There was so much voices in my ear. I mean, wow. I had the voice of friends, the voice of family, the voice of the enemy, the voice of the Holy Spirit. But again, the intense preparation that I went through beforehand helped me to sift through the noise again so I can move with a clarity that I need to walk into this arranged marriage. I could only imagine what would have happened if I was not in position and I ended up delaying God. So imagine praying for years, praying for years for a certain thing. God, I am praying for a husband. I'm praying for a man after your own heart. And God, in his goodness, he decides to answer that prayer and he decides to bless you with somebody, right? God's op God opened the door in an accelerated way. And because of whatever, you delay God. Imagine delaying God. Listen, I could have done that easily as well. I could have yielded to fear. 
I could have yielded to uncertainty and just missed the whole entire blessing, right? I could have missed the most wonderful person that I ever met. And I would have to loop around the mountain one more time again, um, one more year again, waiting for God to send somebody else. And I know for a fact that some of you are on the second loop because you keep missing it. Because again, ladies, discernment is key. I can only imagine if I had delayed God, um, delayed the process. Imagine me doing that. Imagine the word that God gave me that I would conceive on my wedding night. That probably wouldn't have come to pass because I would be making a conscious decision to delay God. Imagine that. Like, I'm just still stuck on this, that some of us can delay God. So it's not about God delaying us all the time. Sometimes we can delay God because we're afraid to step out on faith. We are afraid to move at his speed. And let me tell you, whether you're going too, whether you're going fast or slow, as long as you're going on God's timing, it's the perfect timing. So there's no such thing as too slow or too fast, as long as you're moving in the speed of God. So ladies, if you know that this is your story, if you know that this will be your story, you are connecting, you are vibing to what I'm saying right now. You know you can relate. You know that the long dating and the engagement process is not for you because God is already speaking to you about a prophetic or an arranged marriage. I'm encouraging you ladies to make sure that you secure your seat in the DYS program, the Discerning Your Spouse program, because again, in this program, you will have the blueprint to walk into a prophetic or an arranged marriage effortlessly. All right, so you will have the clarity that you need to step into that specific type of marriage with that specific type of grace, with clarity and with confidence. So enrollment closes in a few days and shout out to all my accelerators who have already enrolled. Listen, God is ready to do amazing things and it will start with your marriage. I decree that in the name of Jesus that it will start with your marriage. And if you're not sure if this program is for you, in this week I will be opening 15 minute slots. For those of you who are just not sure, you may say, okay, Kashina, I want to enroll in the program, but I'm not sure if it's the right fit. Please let me know. So in these 15 minute session slots, we'll just talk about the contents of the program just to see if in fact it will be a good fit for you. So in this informative session, we will not really talk about personal things or personal situations or circumstances. It is strictly informative just in case you're on the fence and you're just not sure if in fact you will benefit from this program. So I'll be scheduling those um, sessions in this week. So again, if you're thinking about enrolling, please go on www.kashinabago.com and secure your 15 minute information session. And again, we'll talk about if this program is a good fit for you. So again, ladies, I'm really looking forward just to share more content about, you know, again, just developing the clarity and the confidence to walk in an accelerated marriage. And I know many of you are called to a similar story and a similar testimony. And I'm just delighted that I can be a point of reference and support to have you ladies walk through that experience. So guys, thank you so much for watching Beauty for Ashes and I'm looking forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye-bye.